Hello students, I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to start off with a new and very exciting chapter that is light and shadow. God has gifted us with a very beautiful thing that is our eyes. Through these eyes we are able to see and appreciate all the things around us. But do you think these eyes are enough or you need something else to see the things. Just imagine you are in a dark room. The moment you enter the dark room, will you be able to see the things? No, but if a little spark of light enters the room, you will be able to see the things around. This is just because of the sensation created by the light on your eyes and you are able to see the things around us. So when we talk about light, light is a form of energy and this form of energy we are getting from a source that is sun or stars. So sun and stars are known as the natural sources of light. On the other hand, human beings have also designed some of the artificial sources of light like your small bulbs, you have your torches, you have your candles, tube lights. These are some of the artificial sources of light. Some naturally other sources of light are also there like your jugnu or you call as firefly. These are certain insects. These are also emitting light of their own. So they are known as the natural sources of light. Now I have some objects with me and with these objects will be differentiated into different types with the help of light. Now I'm taking my first object that is a box and now I'm going to show you something. I have this candle or you can say a source of light and when I bring it from the back are you able to see the source of light? No. You are not able to see the source of light that is behind this candle. That means you are not able to see the light. Or you can say that you are not able to see the objects which are inside this box. Why? Because the light is not able to pass through it. So we call such objects as opaque objects. I have this box with me, I have this pot and you can easily see that you are not able to see anything inside it or when I was bringing a candle behind it you were not able to see the light coming from behind it. So these are known as the opaque objects. Now I am going to take another object that is my glass box. I think you are able to see the coins inside this box. That means the natural source of light can easily pass through it and you are able to see the coin. Or a simple one is I am taking my artificial candle and if I keep it behind it you are able to see the candle light passing through it and you can see the light through it. So such objects through which light can easily pass through it, we call them as transparent objects or the objects through which light can easily pass through it, we call them as transparent object. Now talking about the third object I've taken, I've taken my cup. I've kept something in this cup. Are you able to see it? I don't think so. I've kept a small box inside it. 
showing that the light is not able to pass through it and you are not able to see. Another one, if I keep a candle behind it, that the light of the candle is not also very clear. So such objects through which little light can pass and you can just imagine a thing to be inside it, we call such objects as your translucent objects or the objects through which little light can pass or you can have a very slight image of it we call it as translucent object so some more example of your translucent objects are like your butter paper your tissue paper your oil are very good example of your translucent object I've tried one experiment I've taken a tissue paper and on this tissue paper, it's going to be like an opaque object. But on the other tissue paper, I have applied some oil on it. And now this tissue paper is acting like a translucent object. And you are able to see my hand a little bit through it. So this is one of the example of your translucent objects. So in all these objects, you saw that how light was not able to pass through it like an opaque object or in another one through which light was completely passing we called it as transparent objects or the other one was your translucent through which little light was able to pass so this is how all the objects are categorized on the basis of their action towards the light so with this we also come to know about an amazing property of light that light always travels in a straight path it doesn't takes the curve and start moving this i can show you with a little experiment i have instead of having cardboards i have my covers of my mobile which is having some hole in it I'm going to place these covers one behind the other at a certain distance. You can do it with the help of a cardboard. And now I'm placing, bringing a candle that is a source of light behind it. What are you able to see? You can see that this light can pass through the one hole to the other and you, can, you are able to see the source of light on the other hand but if i change the position of one of my cardboard or my mobile cover what do you see you are not able to see the light through it showing that light always travels in a straight path and when some opaque object comes in front of it the light is not able to pass through it. So with this experiment we come to a conclusion that light ordinarily follows a straight path. I hope you have understood about the light effects and the effect on different objects. Thank you and have a nice day.